I wanted to think about the industrial history of the turbine hull and how it was used to convert electricity for machines. I thought that the hull should be re-inhabited with machines, but I wanted these to be biologized. Machines, they're either our slaves or our masters. And these aerobes, they don't necessarily have that kind of utility that we usually attribute to machines. The idea is that maybe that they're just here to be rewilded and that they're here to just coexist as a new kin species versus something that should perform and have some strict utility for us. I'm calling both my flying machines aerobes because it connects the term to air. And in uh, biology, it also means that which needs oxygen in order to breathe and survive. I thought the best way to do that was to have a scent molecule to connect all of the different sort of um, entities in the hall. One of the goals of working with olfaction in art is to try to get beyond the social and the psychological conditioning we have around smells and odors that we like it or dislike it. Life is to put oneself at risk. Every time we enter into a space, the risk that we engage with, every time we take in a breath, it's not something to be terrified about in terms of the other we're all linked to a kind of original cosmos. So I think that people who do come into the space will be in some small way quite transformed biochemically and participating in the exchange with the Arabs. <laughs>